Hey, hey, Starfish of Fire, and I'm back with another Hot Sauce Review. Today I've got number three on this season of Hot Ones from the Hot Sauce Company, The Doris. This is Cadejo. Cadejo, according to what they uh, mentioned on uh, Hot Ones, is 15,000 Scoville units. And this creature on here, the Cadejo, is similar to a Kubachabra. It's a mythical creature like leprechauns, unicorns, and anything else supernatural for that matter as far as we can determine. And when it's, its eyes are normally blue, but when it's about to attack, they turn red. Cool. So yeah, let's check this out. We're gonna get right into the ingredients, see what we're working with here. Oh, uh, yeah, might wanna switch our glasses here. Getting old, y'all. All right, so ingredients we have. White vinegar, mango, onion, carrot, habanero pepper, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and paprika. So there'll be a little sweetness, a mix of the white water, uh, white vinegar and mango, and maybe some of the carrot. Um, and habaneros, I love. They're, you know, I mentioned before, I, I'll eat those as snacks like grapes. Um, trying to keep my tolerance up for challenges when I want to do them, and pepper season's just around the corner, right? Got my Johnny Scoville spoon, Mother of Pearl, got my nice little Emerson, and we'll get right into this. Oh yeah. First things first, let's see what we got on the aroma edge of this. Okay, hold on. It looks to be kind of a thick sauce. Okay. Definitely um, kind of mustardy thing going on there. It's probably the mix of the paprika and the onion. Okay. Looks to be a fairly thick bodied sauce. Yeah, medium to thick body. It's coming out pretty good here. Look at that. It has a mustard look to it, actually. Uh, let's see what we're working with. This is Starfish of Fire. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. Whew, okay. This is well blended. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is wonderful. So, when I say it's well blended, what I mean is the mango and the garlic and uh, carrots and the paprika really come through. That's what's hit me. That mango at front. And then the savory with the paprika, the garlic, and onion, and the carrots. Oh, great. This is this is awesome. And it's at 15,000 Scoville. Mmm. Good mouthfeel, too. Creamy. Sweet, like I said, up front. Um... I'm going to say my heat scale, it's going to be a two, maybe could be pushing a three, but it's just the flavor, man. I tell you, hot one, they really go out of the way to pick a well-balanced and uh, good flavor profile. Um, as far as foods go, fish tacos, I could see it on a broad, actually. It definitely has that mustard vibe to it savory and sweet at the same time and just enough zing this would be a good entry level so uh, sauce for people that just want to get into uh, the, the whole culture of uh, hot sauce um, if you want to show your friends something like this would be a good sauce to start with because it has a let's say at 15,000 it's got enough heat to let them know it's a hot sauce but it's not going to do a man if you know what I mean and I think you do um, wow that is good flavor though now actually, I'm making. I'm gonna make a burger tonight. I'm thinking I might put this on the burger. I think it go well, well bodied. Hmm, that's a great flavor. Wow. So like I said, that sweetness of the mango and the paprika, the onion and garlic, and that carrot all come together to make a sweet and savory with a nice zing of heat. This is a good sauce. I'll be definitely looking at this company. I've never ordered anything from them. The Doris. 
Um, but Cadejo, good sauce. And that burn's starting to build, so I'm going to give it a solid three. And that makes sense. It's number three out of the ten in the season of hot ones. And see, I've got my little ultra pain behind me. And some of that pain comes from other sources, if you know what I mean. Then I think you do. And i got plenty of sauces left here to try. So come back and check me out again. I've been running around a lot. I'll be traveling again here in a couple weeks. But uh, sometimes I do restaurants. And then sometimes I do stuff here in my apartment. So check me out with Starfish of Fire. And uh, <sighs> got to get my Steve-O Lokes. I'm out. Yeah.